way here. North Scout coming off of uh, XW2F satellite here. This is a satellite that has an uh, inverter for its uh, transponder where you can actually uplink in the UHF and have downlink in VHF in single sideband, uh, upper sideband. Unfortunately, this pass is extremely bad, uh, very, very low. And with what I have as an antenna, this is not the best. So you see here at the bottom left, elevation 13 degrees. That's going to reach like 14 at its peak. This is very, very low over the horizon, barely above the houses that are in my uh, field of view. But it's kind of nice to see uh, I'm still getting the beacon. Normally here from the 145.9, um, sorry, 145.8980, yeah, to 145.146.00, um, zero, zero. this is where I should technically see any uh, activity, because uh, generally the downlink is starts 5 kilohertz above. So 145.980 to 146 is where there would be some single sideband stations. But as you see here in the waterfall, there's really nothing happening. It's too low to really give a, a good pass and an interesting pass. Unfortunately. But at least... We hear the beacon. So the beacon is there also. And it's very helpful in the satellite. Because the beacon is there to help you at least know that you're hearing the satellite. So even if there's no activity. Because sometimes there is no activity. Even when the pass is really good. And this gives you at least an idea that even if uh, there's no activity. The beacon is at least there to help you uh, really hear the satellite and you know you're listening to it so you know that it's lack of stations speaking in upper sideband that is the problem not uh, the fact that you're not receiving the satellite so it's you know it's always kind of cool you are receiving a satellite you know in space which is kind of nice and uh, it's really really cool so um, CAS3F also known as XW2F uh, satellites. These are a series of satellites. There's the 2A to 2F that are a series of satellites that are really, really cool because they have downlinks in the upper sideband. And I have a few videos already on the channel with that. So no, uh, mu not much activity, but at least we heard the uh, Morse code beacon on this uh, on this satellite. That's at least a minimum. Uh, the software I'm using, Orbitron, is a software I love for that purpose of knowing what stations are or what satellites are in the vicinity. And you can have, uh, of course, you know, tracking and, and, and do some uh, calculations, predictions of when the satellites are uh, coming. On a PC, Orbitron is my favorite software for tracking satellites. So we'll have more videos on the VHF UHF channel, of course. Hope you enjoy it.